Hey guys, Chris Anderson, PursuitHunting.com. I'm in Long Hunter State Park on the shore of Percy Priest Lake here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm with my dog Fred, and Fred's wondering why we're not out there in the water throwing sticks and stuff right now. So he'll he'll probably bug me from time to time as we're doing this. But I'm gonna do a quick segment in follow-up to my review of the Garmin eTrex GPS and the Topo mapping software. Um, I said in that review that I felt like with the two of those, I really didn't need a mapping GPS. And I'm going to show you how I use my custom map that I've created for this area, my eTrex GPS, and my compass to figure out exactly where I am on the map. So uh, this is going to be just a real quick tutorial, and uh, I'm going to stop the camera and move things around so that I can focus in on the map and show you how I do it. Be right back. Okay, got the got a flat rock set up here where I can put my map on it to make it a little bit easier to show you. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to orient our map so that north on the map lines up with north in the world. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to set my compass to north, just like that. And then on this particular map, this this border right here runs north and south. So I'm going to I'm going to line that border up with one of the lines that runs along the compass there. And then I'm just going to lay it down flat on the rock here. And I'm going to rotate it. until everything lines up nice and straight. Just like that. Now I'm going to move my, I'm going to move the camera a second so that I get everything squared up. So now I have my map lined up with north on the map being directly in line with north in the world. I have the lake over this direction, which is right here as I would expect. Um, the hill rises up behind me in this direction as I would expect. So now what I want to do is I want to pinpoint my location somewhere, I'm somewhere along this shoreline right here. And what I did was at home I set up three arbitrary waypoints and I named them LH001, LH002, and LH003. Chose them completely at random just um, by clicking on the map, giving them my custom names that I use LH since we're in Long Hunter. This was the first one I created, second one and third one I created. And what, what I do is, when I'm in a new area, and I haven't created any waypoints there yet, before I ever go there, if I know the general area that I'm going to be in, I'll just put some, some arbitrary waypoints on the map, and then I'll store them in my GPS, and I get the, the coordinates for the waypoints off of the software. I'll show you how to do that in my review. If you, uh, if you haven't seen that, look on my website, PursuitHunting.com, um, under the Garmin E-Trex and Topo gear review. Uh, it shows you exactly how to do that. So anyway... I, I've got these waypoints here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to take bearings to each of those waypoints, and I'm going to basically look for where those bearings cross, and where those cross, that's, that's where I'm located. So let's take a bearing off this first waypoint, which is LH, or a bearing to this first waypoint, which is LH001. All right, so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to, on my GPS here, I'm going to go to this screen, I'm going to select waypoints, and... I want to choose the nearest option. That makes it easy for me. I'll select that. Scroll down to the one that says LH001. Choose it. And then go to. Which brings up this screen right here. And depending on how, which, how I push the up and down arrows, it gives me a variety of options down in this bottom section here. But what I'm looking for is the one that says bearing. Okay. Because that tells me the exact compass direction from me to that waypoint, which is LH001. Okay? And it says in this case it's 217 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set on my compass 217 degrees right there on the dial right there. Now, I'm going to lay my compass so that the line going from here to here lies right across that waypoint 
and the north arrow lines up. And I'm going to draw a line right through there like that. Okay, now what I need is one other bearing and see where that crosses my first line and that'll tell me exactly where I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose again nearest and then I'm going to use LH003 since that's kind of crossways to the line that I just drew. I'm going to select that, go to and that gives me a bearing of 148 degrees there. So I'll set 148 degrees on my compass. Draw a line there. And it's hard to see where those lines drew because they didn't draw, my map's kind of gotten wet because it's a little bit misty out here. But the lines crossed right here, right on the tip of this point. And I'll swing the camera around and show you. But that's where we are.